Alright guys, well, here is Contagion. Uh, here I'm going to sort of do a little playthrough and almost do a marketing ploy that I myself am conducting to convince my friends to buy this because they need to because I'm so lonely playing this game. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just showing off the game for my friends and to whoever wants to find out more about Contagion. Um, the Kickstarter sadly is over, but you can still purchase this on Steam. Early access, I think, October 25th. So yeah. Um, there's three game modes that I know of. Uh, escape is sounds exactly what it is. You're following a list of objectives that some mysterious voice is telling you on a cell phone to do. And uh, you just try and escape the thing with onslaught hordes of zombies. Hunted is the PvP kind of aspect of gaming. It's like you play with... Uh, a lot of people and I think it's maximum six people or eight I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> sadly I'm all alone in this beta so who knows um, but yeah it's PvP uh, it's free-for-all uh, there's zombies around they do things you know they hunt you down you want to be quiet etc etc extraction is all about rescuing survivors um, you work cooperatively just like uh, escape and you try and rescue survivors and survive against uh, hordes of zombies by barricading houses and whatnot. But yeah, to show off the game, I'm just gonna show escape. You know, show a few minutes. I'm not gonna put any spoilers of the game. Um, no spoilers. That's my rule. Uh, so you'll see how beautiful the game is, and then I'll put a compilation of like action events and whatnot. It's it's a pretty sweet game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh there's not that much content in the beta that I was exclusive uh, that I was invited to by winning in a contest, but um, not a lot of content. But I've played about nine hours of this game already because that's how obsessed I am. I am absolutely head over heels in love with this game. It's it's incredible. It's so immersive. I get lost in this game so easily because of how beautiful it looks. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But uh. This is the problem. One of the problems with the beta is that the long load times. I'm sure they'll fix it, but um, it's not like I mind. I love looking at this scary zombie face. Look at him. Look at him. He's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, um, pay attention to the lighting and the gore of this game. I think those are essentials of zombie horror gaming, and they just this company just got it down right. I I don't know. Maybe I'm too fanboyish. But yeah, as you can see, character selection, you could pick any sort of character. They have their own little backstory so you can feel something for the characters. Um, I always play Jessica Mannings because she's like a student and then like then she couldn't find a job so she works at a bar. And uh, I could totally feel that pain because I was a graduate and I'm having trouble finding work. So I'm working not at a bar but something equivalent where I'm not supposed to be there. <laughs> so I feel you, Jessica. Let's do this together. All right, so we start off. You start out with a cell phone. Uh, this is your objective. It's gonna appear here by pressing B. You pull it up. So yeah, just you can hear the ambient sounds of gunfire and everything. It's just so beautiful. The flashlight, great. It's like it works so great. Um, if you play with others, you can see their flashlight as well, which is awesome. Like, you can have someone shine their light on something, and it's not like some games where you can't see what they're shining their light on. In this, you can actually see. And I'm just like, that's fantastic. Bloody toilet! Someone's got the hemorrhoids. Um, no zombies. Cool. As you can tell, we're in a prison. Oh! Our first zombie. Just look at how she moves. Oh, it's so beautiful. Sorry, I'm nerding out right now, but she moves so beautifully. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, they've heard me. Oh, God. All right. I'm very nervous at these games. Although I love them, I get so freaking nervous. Oh, jeez. Look at them freaking out. They break down doors, by the way. You're not safe behind doors. It only buys you time. That's all it does. Oh, shit. I missed. Sorry for the language. Oh, 
But yeah, it's such a beautiful game. I how many times have I said that? Probably a billion times. I am so sorry. <laughs> Uh, the whole ambiance, the feel of it is just so beautiful. That's the tab menu. I think that's the ping on the top right corner. And you can check what your p other players' uh, inventory are so you can like make sure they're not stealing crap from you. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. As you can see, headshots work. Um, which is essential number one in zombie games for me. Sometimes you hit them in the cheek and it doesn't kill them, which I think is great because it makes me stressed out and, and I get furious with the game. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, these boards? You can actually board up doors uh, and windows in uh, other game modes. I don't know about this because there is no nail gun and boards in uh, Escape on Roanoke, but... But the fact that you can do it just like makes my heart so like flutter with glee. That's right, I said flutter with glee. Oh, hello, zombie. Were you following me this entire time? Come here, come ah. here, come here. Bam. All right, sorry, I'm talking too much. I don't really record myself, so I talk a lot when I'm a little nervous. Pay no mind. Go this way first. Just listen to that music. It's so frightening. Well, um, I just know because I've played this so much that I need those keys for later on. But, uh, um, yes. Also, cool feature about this game. If you pick up, that was shotgun ammo. If you pick up ammunition they don't have, you can press J, I believe, and you drop all the ammo that you're not using. So you can, like, disperse them amongst your allies and whatnot. So they don't have to, like, scrounge for ammo. That's if you not don't want to be, like, a dick and steal all the ammo. I mean, you could be a dick if you want. I mean, I'm a dick all the time, so it's perfectly fine. Especially if I'm trying to play a game by myself and someone joins me. I steal all the ammo and I force them out. Mwahaha. <laughs> Flashlight also is not attached on every weapon, so you have to be careful of what you use. Especially since there's a lot of dark areas in this game. Oh, uh, don't swing at me, please. All right, let's uh, let's open this door here. What did you have to say? Thank you for telling me. I hate this part because I basically screwed myself over seeing like all the zombies are starting to move and they're going through the doors. Yeah, I screwed myself over. But we're going to have to progress. Oh, look at that lens flare. And you can see dirt on the screen as if I'm holding a handheld camera. It's so gorgeous. I really want to show you guys the gore. Uh, I only see it really with a Colt and a shotgun, which I do not have on me. But you can like blow a hole in the back of their head and see brain and skull matter. I mean, it's disgusting, but at the same time, it's so necessary in a zombie game. That was acrobatic. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Oh, Jesus, that was frightening. <laughs> Her head just bounced back and... Ugh. Well, I don't have to explain. You guys saw that. Oh, it went through her head and hit him. Let's use up the Uzi. I don't... Not Uzi. MP5. I don't really like using MP5s. So, yeah. You basically want to explore through this game. Like, you want to go through doors and check out everything. Um, make sure you pick up ammo. Because, as you notice... Ammo's kind of scarce when you, especially when you play with other people. I'm alone, so Duh, Jesus Christ! Um, I may be in trouble. There's a lot of them. Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Um, oh jeez, I'm out of ammo of that. But, uh, when you play with other people and someone dies, they too become a zombie and they get to, uh, devour you, which is a fantastic feature. Has been around since Zombie Panic and Zombie Panic Source, which is their previous games. Alright, I'm running really low on ammo. Oh god, this game. My heart is racing right now. <laughs> and I feel weird talking to nobody right now because I'm recording this, not streaming. Oh my god. Kind of screwed. Oh, sorry about Skype. I know you can hear it. I should probably turn it off, but I kind of don't want to. Because that is the video editor. They would give me this and not a shotgun. I really want to show off the shotgun. Alright. Oh, oh, gee. Um, um, Jesus. All right, get away from me, zombie chick. Um, let's make this interesting. Whee! Oh, fuck. La 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 la. <sighs> Ow! Leave me alone. Nope, doesn't open. Leave me alone. Is there any weapons? I need a weapon. Ah, oh, another one of these. Give me a shotgun anywhere. Die! <laughs> Alright, I'm getting really nervous. <laughs> So I should probably stop the video now before you guys see me freak out and uh, die because that'd be uh, embarrassing. Nope, nope, nope. Whack. Out. Oh, whack. Out. Please leave me alone. Oh, also feature in this game is stamina. Stamina is for running and smacking. If you have a melee weapon, which is great because it keeps you silent, um, it takes up a, it takes up a lot of stamina. That doesn't sound very good. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus. Um, I may be in trouble. But I really need to go out there. <laughs> oh, this is a rock and a hard place. Yeah, here they come. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them.
minutes. Oh. It's quite a bit of them. guys for watching um, right now this is a multiplayer map as you can see it's daytime and uh, there's nobody here because I'm waiting for all you guys to play with me <laughs> no really hurry up and buy this so I can play with people in this with friends please also I have a cult finally which is awesome oh jeez so let's see some gore and you saw some awesome gore oh my god that's just this is disgusting Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, um, and uh, hope you guys consider uh, getting this. Ow! Jerk.